Hello all. In this session, we are going to learn quickly how do we get the Huawei ID registered and how do we get the same verified. Both are two distinct process and it is very easy to carry out with this process. I am going to explain you the same in a very concise manner. Well, first thing is Huawei ID registration. You are registering yourself as a developer. That's all. What are the benefits that you will get? First, this is free. Second, you will get access to Huawei Developer Forum. All the training materials are almost accessible by you. You get a lot of training videos, articles, access to code labs, sample applications and many other things are there when you get yourself registered as a developer. Well, how difficult it is? It's very simple and a minutes process is what you need to do. You can scan the QR code which is available in front of you or you can click the link that I have given in the description section. And when I click that link, it will take you directly through a page where you can go ahead with the registration process which will not take more than two minutes for you. You got two options here. Option number one asks you to go ahead with your phone number. Option number two enables you to go ahead with registration with email ID. The first one is the phone number option where you need to give your phone number. If you are from a different country other than India, you can select the country code accordingly and you can give the phone number here. And once the phone number is issued, this get code option will be enabled and you will get an SMS to that mobile number. And you need to fill that here, select a password for you. You can choose the password and confirm the password, give your date of birth, register. That's all, the registration is complete. You can go ahead with the email registration as well. You can have the same amount of options here, but you need to get your email ID here, that's all. Get your email ID mentioned here, click get code the moment the email ID is filled. You will get an email immediately into your email ID and fill that up here. You select a password, confirm password, give the date of birth, that's all. This is what it is for getting yourself registered as a Huawei developer, that's all. This is just getting yourself registered as a developer. Well, I explained you the process for OTP and all those things. Once you get the OTP, you can register and accept to the terms and conditions. Your registration is all done. Well, the next stage is called developer verification. Well, you've got a Huawei ID, but you are not permitted to submit your app just with that ID because your identity has to be verified. When you want to become a developer, submitting your apps and publishing your apps into app gallery, you need to get your identity verified. I repeat, for you to submit your app, publish your app to app gallery, your identity has to be verified by Huawei. So there is a couple of steps more that you need to do with the verification process. This is called developer verification. The first step is developer registration. The second step is developer verification. The developer verification will demand a couple of documents from you. The first document that we require from Huawei side is you can go ahead with the government ID card. For an instance, if you go ahead with India, it's Aadhaar card, passport, driving license or simply birth certificate. You can have bank document as the second document or if you are a student or if you do not have a bank account, don't worry, there is an option for you. And these options, whatever I'm telling you is for individual registrations. We are not talking about the enterprise registration. It has got a different procedure. We will talk about it later. But for individual registration, individual verification, we need government ID card or birth certificate. Government ID card can be Aadhaar, license, passport or anything. And the second document that we need is bank document. If you do not have it, nothing to ponder about. We have got a simple facility for you if you are a student. You can take your college ID card, take a photo like what we have presented in front of you. The name should be clear, vivid and visible. That is sufficient. This can be accepted in place of the bank document that we are asking for. So your birth certificate or the government ID card plus this photograph clearly holding your identity card issued by college should be sufficient. Your personal information is all 100% protected and you do not have to bother about it. And once you get that, you are getting into the verification page where you need to fill your full legal name in English. If your full name is Sri Ram Chris Vasudevan, you have to fill it completely and do not just keep initials as Sri Ram KV. You have to expand as it is in the document. Please ensure whatever your ID card has as the full name should be presented here. Give your state, address, phone number, email, email verification code will be available immediately the moment you get the email address filled here and fill all this. This should not take more than three minutes. Once it is done, you will be taken to the next page where you've got options to upload the document. You've got ID card plus bank document option, passport plus bank document option. So ID card plus bank document option is what I select and I can upload 
the photos, I mean the images of the document which I have. If you do not have a bank document, don't worry. As I told, you can take the photo of you holding your college ID which can reflect your full name. Once that is uploaded, you can read the statement about the Huawei developer and privacy. You can also read the Huawei developer service agreement and confirm to it. You can also select the language as English or whatsoever option you want from the drop down menu and click submit. It may take a week or so for you to get your identity verified and you will become a identity verified developer. That's what we mean. You will become a verified developer after this process is over. I hope it is clear. I will give you the links in the description section. Please go ahead and try it out. In case you have questions, you can reach us out. Thank you very much.